Okay, in this demo I'm going to show how easy it is to write XML with FME 2012 when you don't have a XML, an, an XML sample. In FME 2011 we introduced the, te the templating technology, but in order to write a sample XML file you had to have a sample. Um, in FME 2012 no longer is that necessary. So what I have here is I have a CSV file just with one sample record to illustrate the point. And what I want to do is I want to take that and generate uh, an XML subdocument for manhole taken from the Australian ADAC XML schema. Now I don't actually have any um, ADAC files. I only have the schema. So what am I going to do? Well, generating a sample from a schema manually is very, very difficult. So fortunately, with FME 2012, we have made that very, very easy. So what am I going to do? I'm going to simply open this CSV file with Workbench and I'm going to say that I want to go to um, XML. But if, as usual when we write to XML, I just say I'm going to go to a text file because I'm going to use the FME transformers to build what I need. So what I'm going to do is I'm first going to configure the CSV Notice that uh, the first row is um, all the header names. So I simply say field has five field names, and there we go. That's that. Okay, and on the text file, nothing. I'll enter an output file. Sure. Let's go to XML generation output, and we'll say gen 14.xml, like that. And that's all I'm going to do. It's going to look at the CSV file, generate me a sample output. Okay, but now what I need to do is I want to generate the XML. So we have this thing called XML Templater, which we've had before. Okay, and um, I'll show you this. So we're going to connect that to there. And now we're going to try to generate the XML template. But I don't have a sample. Okay, so before I would have been cooked. But now what I can do is I have a generate button and I can simply specify the schema location. In this case, the schema is ADAC and I pick the, the root level and I say open, open. And by default, um, it's going to go at the top of the file and just generate everything. So if I go OK, it's going to generate this massive XML document that I can build. Okay, but that's not what I want to do in this case. In this case, I just want to build one for manhole. So what I do is I simply paste in the path to the object that I want to build. So there you go. That's where it is. It's under sewage, manholes, manhole. Oh, that's not, it should go here, sorry. Right there. And the file again is ADAC, like that. Okay, now in this case, I'm not going to generate optional elements um, but you could, but um, in order to keep this at a, at a reasonable demo, I'll not do that. Okay, and I say okay now, and what's going to happen is it generates my XML subdocument for manhole. Now, how do I populate the values? Well, let's see, I have owner here, so I can simply drag this out and put it there, and now I have owner filled in. So we'll just do a few of these, and then we will let it run. But you get the idea. It's very, very simple now, and I do no longer do I need to have a, a sample XML file, which is huge. Okay, so there we go. Okay, so infrastructure code, do I have such a thing? Oh, look at that. What do you know? Okay, and there we go. Okay like that and what else should I put down here um, now that's pretty good let's put down the length and the width okay so we're gonna have length okay chamber width there's chamber width right there so we'll grab that and we'll put it for the width, the width here right there okay and length is probably called something a little bit differently okay chamber Look at that, chamber length. There it is there. Drag that out there. Okay. And that's good enough because this demonstrates the idea. So now I simply say okay. And now, in fact, what I have 
and it goes to the attribute called result. And so now what I have is I've generated the uh, the the XML and substituted it in when I don't have a sample. Now we also added an XML sampler sample generator transformer and that can be useful if you want to generate samples and then use over in different workspaces but in this case um, you know in many cases what I did here makes a lot more sense so now I simply need to connect the result of this to the, um, the XML there and so we go up here like that and there we go and now I run it and I we will have the output file which we will open and it was Jan 14 if you recall and there it is there open again in notepad plus plus and you can see these are the fields I filled sanitation council we didn't put anything into status we put things in notes and we filled in the uh, the length and the width so there you go that shows how much easier it is to write XML documents with FME 2012 when you have do not have a sample um, only have the schema documents so there you go that's XML sample generation in FME 2012 thank you